Hello, welcome to our live Wednesday stitch out. Welcome everybody. Today we are going to be stitching out our snack bag. These are a project collection. It came out in February of 2016. They are super adorable snack bags. There's a few here. There's 15 different designs. And if you have never made a uh, zippered bag in the hoop before, it is so much fun. I love doing zipper bags. If this is gonna be your first one, you will be hooked. Uh, so today, we are gonna switch things up a little bit. So we did advertise that we were gonna stitch out the whale. But with Easter coming up, I decided that I wanted to do the, um, the bunny rabbit. My mom used to call me bunny rabbit when I was a little girl. So I thought this was really adorable and getting ready for Easter, this would be perfect. So we're gonna switch it up. Um, I'll give everyone just a, a couple minutes if you want, if you're stitching along with me, if you wanna swap out your threads, we are going to be doing design number 14 today. And it is the bunny rabbit. They're two different sizes and I'm gonna be stitching out the B size. So with these 15 different designs that are included in the snack bags, we're doing design number 14. And again, they do come in two different sizes, an A size and a B size. So I hope you're excited because I know I am. I just love doing zippered bags and I'll give you some tips and tricks along the way. So we're just gonna wait another couple, uh, few moments here for people to get signed in and watching. Welcome to our Wednesday live stitch along. So we are doing the snack bags again today. Now these are on sale for the rest of today until 11.59 Eastern time. They are $10 off, so they're normally $34.95 and they are on sale now for $24.95. So you can take advantage if you don't already have this. And again, it came out in February of 2016. It was in all access in February. You can see how cute these are. And what's really fun about these snack bags is they incorporate a vinyl. So what you put your little snacks inside your bag or whatever little things you put in here, there is clear vinyl so you can see through. Put this up so you can see. This is our uh, lunch zipper bag. Got some french fries, burger. Here is our little, I almost called him a gecko, but he's a chameleon. So we use this clear vinyl here, which I will show you when we make our first one. And don't forget, we have prizes too to give away. All right, so I have here my um, things that I have prepped. So I have my white zipper, standard zipper, uh, two large pieces of fabric for the bottom of the bag, the top of the bag, or this is for the top. This is for the bottom. And then we have another large piece for the whole back. So I will walk you through this fun zippered bag should we go ahead and get started? Let's do it. Out. Okay. So if you're just tuning in, we have decided last minute to switch things up. Well, I decided that I wanted to do the bunny rabbit instead of the whale. If they're all done the same way, so have no fear. We're just going to switch it up and do a little Easter bunny to prepare for Easter. Okay. We have a question right away. Oh, we got a question right away. This is awesome. What, a ga what gauge vinyl do we use for these? What gauge vinyl do we use? So we use a eight gauge, gauge vinyl, clear vinyl, eight gauge. Great question right off the bat. Now, if you do have any questions, feel free to write them in the chat section. We have people here on standby. Miss Lauren is helping me today answer any questions. Okay, so I already have my design loaded. I've got my thread here. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. All right. Okay, so welcome everybody. I hope that you are having a wonderful day today. We are in Charlotte, North Carolina, and it is gorgeous weather out today, and I hope it's nice wherever you are. If you want to share where you're watching, I'd love to see where everyone's from. So our very first step right now is our placement stitch. I need a good design. We try to make it as simple for you as possible. And if you are new, you'll get the feel for it as I go along. But we give you this placement stitch as a guide so you know exactly how much fabric you're going to need and where you're going to place your fabric and how large your bag's going to be. So with our zippered bags, we do a placement stitch for the entire size of the bag. And at the same time, we also do a placement stitch for our zipper. 
and our zipper is going to go first. And I think we have a question. Yeah, we do. Uh, back to the vinyl. Vinyl question. Yes. It doesn't matter if they are using a different gauge other than an eight. Will it still work? Yes, it absolutely still work. Will work. We just prefer the weight of the eight gauge. But if you have something thicker or thinner, that it will totally work just fine. And you can still use your standard um, needle embroidery needle size. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have ran our placement stitch for the bag, and you'll see that there are three lines here, and this is for the placement of our zipper. Now, tip number one when you're making a zippered bag in the hoop, it is crucial to remember that you need to place your zipper right side up. So the teeth of your zipper are going to be facing upward and the head of the zipper will be outside of your placement stitch on your stabilizer here. So I'm going to take, you're just gonna align the zipper with the middle line on your placement here, and then make sure it's nice and even along those placement stitches. And I'm gonna use pink embroidery tape to secure my zipper so it doesn't shift when our next step is to tack down our zipper. So let's just, I'm going to place the tape on the outside of my area here. And again, just remember, you do want to have the head of your zipper outside of your placement area. So tip number one, don't forget, make sure that zipper is right side up. Can you share what stabilizer you're using? Right oh, now? yes, of course. Uh, so we are, I am using a no-show mesh stabilizer. Now your instructions do say to use tearaway. You can use these interchangeably. So with the no, I do prefer myself to use no-show when I am making zippered bags in the hoop because you'll notice at the very end we're placing a top piece of fabric um, and then we're gonna turn the bag right side out. And the no-show just is a little bit easier to maneuver when you're pulling it right side out. Okay, now I do have white thread because my zipper is white and I don't wanna see a different color thread show. So now I'm gonna move on to our tack down stitch. So our very first step is going to tack down our zipper. Now, with the tack down stitch on the zipper, it's gonna serve two purposes. First, it's going to tack down our zipper, and then it's gonna be a placement stitch for our fabric for the back, the bottom and the top. So I'll show you what that looks like as soon as this tacks down now. So I'll get my fabric ready. I chose to use a pretty green color. You can use whatever color you'd like. Let's get this ready. Perfect. So we have tacked down our zipper, and now we're gonna move on to attaching our bottom fabric. But before we do that, we have a question. Is it possible, you're gonna have to move your, your camera over there just to give them a, a zoomed up look mm -hmm. of the zipper attached? Or, or take the tape out and show them, we just have some requests to see what it looks like attached. Okay, so my camera here is a little, positioned, can't move it too much, but I can move my hoop here. So can you see that? Let me prop this up. There we go. So I have placed my zipper here. This is gonna be okay. This is just taped. Let me move this. Can we see that okay? All right, so here's the zipper. Now the tack down is below and above here. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, let's just position it back so you can see it. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. is that, if that's not okay, you can fix okay. it. Okay got my text port here to help me out. So we'll go on to our fabric for the back. Oh, that is okay? Yep. There we go. Perfect. Okay. 
Wonderful. I love the questions right off the bat. That's awesome. Okay, so now we are going to do our fabric. Now, tip number two, you're going to place our fabric right side down. So you're going to take the bottom of the fabric and place it along the bottom of the uh, tack down stitch here. So we're going to place the fabric right side down with the bottom of the fabric to that bottom tack down stitch like that. So what we'll do is run a tack down stitch and flip it towards me to see the top of the fabric, the right side of the fabric. Okay, so now we'll just run a tack down stitch. Now once this tacks down, I like to give it a really good finger crease and make it nice and taut so the bag is smooth and you have a really nice clean edge on your zipper. Perfect. Okay, so we'll take our fabric so you can see it is currently right side down and we're going to flip towards us so now we can see that beautiful fabric like that. Give it a nice good finger crease. You can tape it if you'd like. I'm just gonna hold it here. Now, if you're just tuning in, we are switching things up. We decided to do our um, design number 14. We're doing the bunny today. And I am doing the B size, the smaller size now. So we have flipped over our fabric and now we're gonna tack down the bottom. Okay, wonderful. The screen will complement our bunny very well, I think. You want to give away a prize? Let's give away a prize. Fantastic, yes. Uh, so we will give away a $20 digital gift card today. If you want to go ahead and type bunny in the comments, we'll randomly select a winner. We'll give it a couple minutes so everyone has a chance to type in bunny in the comments for a $20 digital gift card. It's also going to tack the top down. You'll see that now uh, over that zipper again. Perfect. I do have excess fabric here from the tack down stitch. You could cut the bottom off and use this for the top of the bag. I have pre-cut a piece, so when you are doing a zipper bag, be sure to leave enough room for a seam allowance for about a half an inch or so, and all the way around the bag. Very important to leave a seam allowance. So we'll, I'm gonna cut this at the end, but uh, again, I'll remind you when we get to that point, just to be sure to leave seam allowance. Okay, so our next step, we have now tacked down the bottom of the fabric. We are going to now tack down the top of the fabric. Let me just get this piece of tape off real quick. Don't forget, if you just tuned in, type in bunny in the comments to win a $20 digital gift card. Okay, so we have our top of a fabric now. Again, you can cut the bottom of this excess here and use that for the top, or just cut about three, in, three to four inches or so of your fabric. So the opposite for the bottom, we use the bottom of the fabric to the bottom line here. So now we're gonna use the top of the fabric to the top line, uh, right side down again. So this part will cover your zipper because we're gonna flip it the opposite way this time. Get that tack down there. We have another question. Yes, question. Is your zipper still closed in? My zipper is still closed at this point. Once I tack down this top fabric and I secure the top portion of the bag, before I start my embroidery, that would be a good time to open your zipper. It's very, very crucial that you do open that zipper halfway to your bag. And I will explain why here in just a moment. But for now, the zipper is closed. Okay. Kemba, we have your winner. First winner today is 
Nancy Sylvie. Nancy Sylvie, congratulations. You have won a $20 Anita Good Design digital gift card. Uh, so she needs to She'll email in to customer experience. Email in to customer experience. It's there on the screen. And just say that you won your $20 gift card and we will get that to you. Okay, I have run my tack down stitch for the top of the fabric. So now I'm going to take the fabric, again it was right side down, and flip it over to see the right side of the fabric. Just like that. Again, give it a nice good finger crease. And you can use a piece of tape just to make sure that fabric is nice and tight down. Perfect. Okay. And tack down your top. Once this tacks down, that's a great time to open your zipper. Because at the very end, we'll put that top fabric down, we'll tack that top on, and we need to turn that bag right side out. And to do that, that zipper has to be placed in the middle of your bag. So if you have not had a chance to purchase this collection or you, you don't own it and you're interested in it, right now, today, own, for the rest of today until 11.59 Eastern, it is $10 off. So you can get it for $24.95. And it was included in the February All Access. I absolutely love making zipper bags in the hoop. If you're watching along right now and you're not stitching, this video will be posted on Facebook. So you can go back and watch it uh, if you need some extra guidance. Okay, so now we're going to go on to our embroidery. We have some stars and I think I'm going to leave them white. So I'm just going to keep on stitching. Actually, let's pause it. Now's a great time to open the zipper. See, I almost forgot. When I get excited and I just make tons of bags, this has happened before, forget to open the zipper. Okay, that'll be enough for now. And do our stars. Uh, can you remind them the month and year of the snack bag? Yes, the snack bags, these cute little guys that use the vinyl, it's called Snack Bags. It's a project collection. It was released in February of 2016, All Access. I'll go put the in there. Okay. Along with that, if you are have been watching our weekly Wednesday stitch alongs, you may know by now that we have a flash sale running. And today is no different. We are running a flash sale on beautiful floral designs and it is called Fancy Flowers. I have some samples here while this is stitching. Here is a dish towel with these fancy flowers on it. Can you see that okay? It's a little blurry. But this is called Fancy Flowers. It's a mini collection. It is normally $34.95. And today, only till 11.59 Eastern time, you can get 50% off. So it's only $17 for these awesome set of really cute floral designs. Now this is a great collection for those 4x4 hoop owners. It goes from 4x4 to 5x7. And there are 31 different designs in this collection. And you can get that for 50% off today. That's our fun flash sale. This was not included in All Access. It came out before All Access ever existed. Okay, I just love they're so cute. Did you open your zipper already? I opened it some, yeah. Okay, will you just specify how far it opened? Yeah, halfway. If you wanna open it halfway, that'll be perfect. That's a great question. How far do you open your zipper? So once you tack down your fabric, your top and your bottom, and you know, you can open the zipper before you start your embroidery. I, I personally like to do that because when I get excited and I see how beautiful the design is coming along, I might forget to open the zipper at that point. So I, before I start my embroidery, I like to open it halfway. Okay, so here we have our placement stitch and our uh, bunny detail. So placement stitch for the vinyl and some embroidery on this bunny. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, swap out and put some pink in here. 
But of course, you can use whatever color you'd like. If you want to have a radical bunny and use variegated thread, that would be neat. place and green for go now with our collections I am on a baby lock right now but it doesn't matter what machine that you have at home all of our designs will work with all machine formats so you just want to make sure you select the right machine format for your machine at home so here is our eight gauge vinyl I'm gonna get that ready and we are on step eight over 19 right now. So if you are following along with our machine steps, we have pictured steps and machine steps. So I like to use both hand in hand. And you can see step eight, we are on our ears and legs. Okay, so we Kendall, yes. can you also remind them that just because they're called snack bags, doesn't mean they can't use them for all Yeah, snack bags. Uh, we just used it as a name for a snack bag. Someone was probably in the office and eating some M&Ms and uh, trail mix and thought, you know, this would be a cute idea to make it food related, but it absolutely does not have to be food related. You could put makeup in there or pencils and pens uh, if they would fit. Anything that you'd like. You could use it as for coins. It does not have to be food specific. Lots of questions about how to wash them with the vinyl. So it would just be recommended to read their directions on your vinyl. Yeah, so vinyls, it comes different. Um, you can get different options. I would read the, the, care, the care directions for your vinyl. Um, it's okay, I would hand wash it. That would be my, my tip for the eight gauge vinyl. There is a little, uh, more embroidery on this bunny than some of the others, but there's no applique. It's just embroidery and then our, our applique of the vinyl. And other than that, that's it for this one. Yeah, I think that would be great. Let's do another prize. Um, at least we have a pop-up on the screen. Okay, so prize number two. Let's type in snacks. Snacks in the comments for a $20 digital gift card. We'll give a couple minutes there for you to type that in. And again, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to type them in, in the comments. We've got some time here on the embroidery, so I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. But that's a great point. If you have questions in the future, you can always email customer experience at anita-gooddesign.com. No, no. That's our website. Anita Good Design. The customer experience at Anita Dash Good Design. And we are there Monday through Friday from 9 to 530. And also, I, I know some of you might have questions about lining your bag. We are not going to line this bag today, but if you go to our website, AnitaGoodDesign.com, we have a blog section and PDF and video tutorials. And in there, you will see instructions on how to make your bag lined if you want to see you know, pretty fabric on the inside or another material. That's a great resource for you. Our blog has wonderful, great tips and tricks, all different uh, sorts and different categories too. The PDF and video tutorials, the video tutorials are, are like a, a YouTube page of a few minutes from two minutes to ten minutes on all sorts of things, making quilts, backing and binding, even technical questions like how to transfer your designs to a USB, uh, resizing, what fabrics and stabilizers to use, all of that sort of information you can find in our customer center between the PDF and video tutorials and also the blog which is new. Can you uh, remind them what size bag that you're making? Yes, yeah, so today I am making the size B bag. So there's two different sizes in the collection. This is the A size here, and this is the B size here. So it's just a little bit smaller. Uh, it, the one that I'm stitching is 6.2 x 6.6, which is this smaller size here. But all of the different designs, whether we did the whale, uh, you have a, a A size and a B size. Okay, so 
So Bunny is coming along here. I have winner. Winner, prize number two. Benedicto. Tina Benedicto. Congratulations on your $20 Anita Good Design gift card. You can uh, email in to customer experience at anitagooddesign.com and we'll get that emailed to you today. The great thing about the gift cards too is you can use them on items on sale. Maybe you don't have the snack bag, you can use to purchase that. Do we have any All Access members out there? I know that y'all are loving the March issue that just came out. And if you are working on some designs at home, what collections are you working on? That's one of my favorite things to ask while I'm doing my Wednesday stitch alongs. I love to know what everyone's working on at home. So feel free to share. Um, Allison would like to know how she can watch this again. Allison. Okay, so great question, Allison. Anyone who is watching right now, or if you're you tuned in a little bit late, this video will be posted on our Facebook page after it has been recorded, so you can go back and watch it as many times as you'd like. And if you do not know how to get to our Facebook page, you can go to our website, AnitaGoodDesign.com. At the very bottom, you'll see a Facebook icon, an Instagram icon and you can just click that F for Facebook. It'll take you right to our page. Miss Kathy is new to All Access and she's loving Kathy, it. Kathy, awesome. I am so happy to hear that. It's a great, wonderful club. And I've been in many you know, clubs of all different sorts in my life, but it's great to, it's like Christmas, you know, get your gift every month wonderful designs and we think of it like it is kind of like a cookbook you get all these wonderful things every month all in one place at such a great discount and you never know what you might want to stitch later on if you have someone that's having a, a dinner party and you need uh, maybe it's a Mexican themed taco party and you need some fun tacos I'm sure it's in one of your all access books every month um, we're moving to a new building in the next month it's a slow transition but it's really awesome because right now we have a separate warehouse so when we move to this new building it's about five miles down the road we're all going to be in one place and hopefully uh, sooner than later we hope we'll be able to do tours again so if you're ever in the Charlotte area please come by and see us because it's so wonderful to see the digitizers they take the artwork and they digitize it. Um, it's really incredible to see how it comes from the artist, hand drawn on wax paper and then transition to the digitized piece. Then it goes to our production team, creative team. They pick the colors and the threads and they stitch out the designs to make sure there's no digitizing issues. And as they do that, they take pictures along the way and include those in your tutorial. So you can see exactly what we did when we were stitching the design. And that goes for you know all of our collections. Then you get to see our graphics team that put together the all access books and all the wonderful graphics and our web team, our marketing team that put on the wonderful promotions. Um, it, it's really great. So if you're ever in the Charlotte area, please come by and see us. Hopefully in the next few months, but I'm sure we'll make an announcement when we're back open. Tony said that you're making, she loves it because you're making this look so easy. <laughs> well, it is easy when you follow along with our steps. Let me show you the pictured steps between the two. Now, if you are new, I highly recommend looking at the lettered steps, which are the, the lettered pictures here. And there's a description under each one, and it tells you exactly what you need to do. And then with our numbered steps, they go in chronological order off of your machine. So, you know, I'm on step eight. I can refer right to step eight. And it is easy. It's so much fun, too. And the great thing about these videos is you can pause me and rewind once it's recorded and rewatch it if you get stuck. But I love making zipper bags in the hoop. And if you do like this, that we have so many different types of zippered bags. 
we have a zippered bag 123 collection that's a special edition and there are I think like 20 different bag sizes from circular eyeglasses um, rectangle large small different shapes they, that one comes with uh, center designs you can monogram them uh, that's a really great collection we have shrinky bags that is an Anita's Express where you can use heat and shrink material that you put over your fabric and you apply a little steam to it and it shrivels right up. It's a really neat look. If you type, if you're on our website and you type in zipper or zip or bags, there'll be so many that show up. But they're all essentially done the same way. Just if you want to line it, that would add an additional step. But they are very fun to do, and I'm I'm hooked. I make them for all my friends and family. You can add different designs you know if you didn't want to do this bunny if your machine would let you go in and add you can put a, a monogram on it you could write a name there personalize it and they have uh, different colored zippers too if you go to your local store I'm sure they have them there but you can all different types of colored zippers if I had green or pink it would probably be pretty with this one Okay, so next we are on Choo -choo. Do you want to give out a price? I think I that we have time when the machine's just going. What better time than to give out some prizes? So what's okay, we did what was the first word we did? Funny. Funny, okay, and then snacks. How about flowers? Because our fancy flowers is our flash sale so type in flowers in the comments again a $20 Anita Good Design gift card. Um, we have a lot of newbies today. Awesome well welcome everybody I'm very glad you're here. You're getting a couple questions about what is all access. I don't know who the merch will be ranking handle. Yeah. Let's do an overview. Yeah, yeah. We have time while this is stitching. Uh, so all access is our embroidery club. It's very simple. Every month we have new designs that come out from large releases, projects, um, embroidery designs, quilting designs, all different types of themes. We have a true variety. So I am going to, this is the skirt now, S side note. Um, I want a pink skirt, so I'm gonna leave it pink. I want my bunny to be decked out in beautiful pink. So every month, All Access is one book with all of the designs that we release in that month. So we do not reproduce designs, we don't duplicate. So every month we have new designs that are released. So for example, this is the March of 2021. If you flip to the back, you're gonna see pictures. Now these are all different collections. So setting sail, uh, sunbonnet designs, tiny tracks, quilts, Animal Adventure, more bags, so these are clutches. Now what this is, is this book is made up of all the tutorials for every one of those collections. So rather than buying, you know, one or two different collections and over the years having stacks and stacks and stacks of designs and CDs, we make it very easy and beautiful into one book. So that's all it is. We ship you one book every month and it has anywhere from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This has 10 collections and each collection has its own set of designs inside. So you're getting 10 different collections in this book. And similar to, you know, the snack bag, you get all of your pictured steps. We give you tips and tricks on how to do different things. I'll show you here. So we have this cute little cow come out. Oh, what I love, oh my gosh, I forgot about this. The sailboats. So we give you large pictures of each design so you can see all of the different elements. We give you the thread numbers for the threads that we use, um, descriptions about the design. We break apart. So for example, this is one of the moth designs. So this is the full moth here. Oh, I'm backwards here. And then these are the additional parts. So it's really great to see that. And this is truly what sets us apart from other companies too, because we put so much work and effort and into the quality of the instructions as we do the designs. So you're getting the best of both worlds. Because what's you know 
having these beautiful collections if you don't know how to do it. So we try to make it as easy and fun for you. And that's what the All Access is. There um, are some ways that, there's only one All Access Club, but you can join in different ways. We have an all digital option if you want to go green. And you know, due to COVID, we had to think outside the box for people that weren't able to travel. So we decided to do an all digital option. That's the lowest all access has ever been. It's $4.99 for 12 months, which comes out to be less than one standard collection a month. So it's about $45 for each issue if you were to look at it that way. It's $4.99 for 12 months and you get all of it. Everything we release in that whole year you get. And then if you like the printed book, and a lot of you do, I would say it's about 50-50. I'm on the customer experience team and I see feedback from both ways. But if you like having that physical book printed for you, there's a $9.99 option and a $1,400 option for 12 months, which comes out to be about $116 a month. Now with that option, you get a $1,400 gift card just for signing up. Before you ever get your first book, you get a $1,400 gift card that you can use on our website for anything that's come out in the past. So it is an amazing way to build your library and to not have to pay for those things. If you're paying for your 12 months of club, you get $1,400 to shop. And you can also use that with um, sales too. So if a, if a collection's 50% off, you can take advantage of that and pay with your gift card. Speaking of gift cards, winner number three. It is Kathy Charney. Kathy Charney, congratulations, Kathy. $20 digital gift card to you. You can email customer experience with your email address and we'll get that to you. So today is March 9th and we have the snack bags on sale. Uh, $10 off for the remainder of today until 11.59 Eastern time. And the fancy flowers, 50% off. I don't know where I put it. Um, this one here is the fancy flowers. 50% off today, end of today, 11.59 Eastern time. Lots and lots of good stuff. So for those new people out there watching, stay tuned. You know, we try every Wednesday to have a stitch along. This is one of my favorite ones because I am a zippered bag fanatic. Do you want to remind them about this weekend? Yes. Oh, great. I meant to do that too. So we are doing, you know, with education is a huge part of the Native Design. And normally we get to travel all over the country and teach you live in person. But right now it's not the case so much. So we are bringing Anita's University 502 to you at home. Uh, we started our very first one last week. It was with Brian and Jen. They did the court poster and the door to fork, the door hanger, towel topper, sorry, towel topper and court poster. And so how it works is it's $5 for the class. Our second one is this Saturday. So if you pay $5 through Facebook and you get to watch live two educators stitch out two projects and there's prizes and lots of tips and tricks. It's a little more in depth than what we're doing here today. Uh, but for the next, so it's every Wednesday in March, 502 is the university, so it's projects all done in the hoop. And this coming Saturday, the two projects are, uh, let me see if I can remember. Um, the um, a tissue holder. Now we got tissue, okay, so it's a tissue holder and a bottle apron with Taylor and Drea. Okay, so now you might probably all have lots of questions after that little spiel, but we are moving along to still lots more embroidery and we are going to Miss Bunny Rabbit, her crown, because she is royalty. Uh, let's see. Okay. So we are moving on to, we are now on step 10. We are moving on to Miss Bunny Rabbit's crown. Okay, okay. 
Perfect. Uh, so back to the 502 classes. There are going to be two, so you stitch two projects. Um, if you don't already have the 502 binder, they are still for sale on our website. They're $89. And you can follow along with the video, but you have access to those videos at any time. So if you don't get to watch it live, they're on Saturdays. Uh, they start at noon, but you can go back and watch it anytime. So it's one $5 charge per Saturday class. So $5 will get you two, two projects. Taught. Of course, the binder has over a hundred different designs inside the binder, but for these two classes, we're teaching two projects each Saturday. And they're, they're gonna be lots of fun. I'm doing one, I think it's the March 24th. 23rd, 24th, whatever that Saturday is. Is it the 27th? 27th. Stay tuned. I'm gonna be doing the Notions Pocket. What color um, bobbin are you currently using? I am using a white bobbin today. With freestanding projects, um, it's encouraged to use the same color bobbin because you're going to see it both ways. Uh, with a line bag, you don't necessarily need to match your bobbin, um, but you'll see a little bit on the inside, but that's okay. You just use a standard white. Okay, dokie. And now some more embroidery details. Step 11. I am going to swap my thread. And okay, so step 11 and then step 12 is going to be our vinyl. So let's just go ahead and do. I'm going to do white. White for the stars. Alrighty. Did anyone share what projects they were working on? Oh, we have so many people working on projects. We had people working on fairy tales. Oh, fairy tales is a beautiful collection. Nursery rhymes. We had somebody making the um, tooth fairy pillows. Oh, <laughs> tooth fairy pillows. Did you watch my video on, I uh, did one, I think it was that two weeks ago on making the tooth fairy pillows. Those are fun. So if you didn't get to watch, you can go back to the Facebook page and see all of our previous Wednesday videos. All right, so we're getting close to our vinyl part now. Seam ripper and or small little scissors are what we're gonna need next. So get those handy if you're stitching along with me now. have to talk about. Any questions? Come on. Give me some questions. Another half here. Again, we're using a, a eight gauge vinyl is what we're working with today. And don't forget to open your zipper. Halfway. So Miss Sharon had a great suggestion. She suggested that if she was going to put snacks in these bags, she would put it the food in a Ziploc baggie and then put them. Yeah, them that's a good idea. So you don't make a mess of your beautiful bag. Uh, so that's a good tip. If you want to use yours for food, you can. Well, you can put vinyl on the inside, but you also could, you know, put your little snacky foods in a Ziploc bag and put that in your bag to keep it nice and clean. Uh, Miss Deidre just found out that she's going to be a granny, so she started working Aww. on Animal Adventure. Congratulations on being a new grandma. Animal Adventure, oh my gosh, is so beautiful. I love the little animals peeking over the blocks. That's a fun one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have ran our placement stitch for our vinyl. So at this point, we're going to take the hoop, and we are going to cut out this fabric right here, because this is where that vinyl is gonna go. You wanna be sure not to cut the stabilizer, just cut the fabric. So I'd like to use the seam ripper, just a little snippet of the fabric, 
make sure I do not cut that stabilizer and then just cut this inside away. Okay, so nice and easy. You're only cutting the inside of the bunny. So let me see if you can see. There we go. So all this inside area is all going to be replaced with vinyl. I'm being sure not to cut the stabilizer. Wow, we Miss Tina was working on her cherry blossom. Oh, that's a good project. Mm -hmm. Cherry blossom. You know, we love to see what you make at home. So if you want to share, take a picture of your project and you can email it to customer experience. We love to see what everyone's working on. Gives us inspiration. And then if you're okay with it, we might just share that on our Facebook page and social media. Okay, so getting this, try, trying to get as close to that tack down stitch as possible, the placement stitch. Okay. And I like to, you know, pick up the fabric a little bit and pull it back so I can get in there really close and, and cut it. Okay, but I think this is good for now. It's just most important that you cut to your, your placement stitch to the little bunny and you do not cut your stabilizer. So that looks good to me. Perfect. Can you let them know that this is design 14? Yes, 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 yes. So we are doing, I originally we put out in our email that we were going to um, be doing the whale, but we decided, I decided kind of last minute that in preparation for Easter, it would be really cute to do the bunny. So it's a little bit longer, but that's okay. I think it's really cute. It's done the same way too, so um, no worries if you had all your stuff out for the other one. I just have a little bit of a stitch here that I'm trying to cut, that's what I'm doing right now, um, to free that zipper. My fabric got tagged, so see, even I sometimes have little, I wouldn't say it's a mistake, but small uh, hang up, little hang up here. But that is all good. Okay, so I have cut out this area here, cut away that fabric, put our hoop back. And you can see we're on step 13 and that says, well, step 12 was our placement stitch and place your clear vinyl. Step 13 is tack down our clear vinyl. So here's our eight gauge clear vinyl. Place that down. Okay, tack down. You can tape it if you'd like. I'm just gonna hold it here on the sides because it's only a, a small area. And there's no right side or wrong side to the vinyl. So now we trim to the tack down, trim that vinyl away, and it cuts pretty easily. So 
I'll just remove this so I get a good clean cut here. Now you might have a question about using other material and I was just thinking about this myself, like what if something see through like organza? And I don't know if I would necessarily use organza because it is pretty fragile where the vinyl adds some, some durability. The, um, what was I just saying? Durability the, of the yeah. vinyl. The uh, organza might be too thin and might not hold up as well. Okay, so now we are going along to step 14. We're gonna do our little bunny face and arms. And I think that this is just the most perfect time to do our prize, a new prize. So get ready, we're gonna type in, let's see. Hmm. Drew a blank now, how about zipper? Zipper in the comments for a $20 digital gift card today. Oh, Miss Linda said you're doing great, Kendall. Oh, thank you, Linda. These are so much fun. You know, so I'm on the customer experience team. So it's nice to have a little break and I get to stitch. Take some free time for myself to enjoy what I, I do. So it's a passion of mine. I love stitching embroidery. And it's also what I do for work. So it's nice to get a little, a little break and hang out with you guys and, and stitch. Um, Ms. Kathy was asking if they are permitted to sell the projects they make. You know, that is a wonderful question. So the question was, are you allowed to sell the projects that you make? Absolutely. Yes, please do. Make money off of your hobby. Uh, we do not care. We do not mind. You are welcome to sell your creations. We just ask that you... Do not uh, break the law and duplicate our designs and sell them digitally on the internet. There are those out there uh, that hurt our business. We are still a very small business. And having those people out there, it's, it's unfortunate that they sell, re recreate, you know, burn designs off CDs or put them on USBs, but just know that we do not sell on eBay or Etsy, and those are counterfeit and illegal. Other than that, yes, please do sell your creations. Absolutely. We would love for you to do that. You can even submit your designs or your quilts in uh, quilt fields or contests and things. Just We ask that you give credit to any of the good design. And, you know, if you're doing your bunny here, you don't add a little flower on the side and say, you know, this is your original creation. Other than that, by all means, get some money. <laughs> if I had the time, I thought about it too. Going to like craft fairs and craft shows and these are a great gift, but definitely a project that you could sell. Hey, coming up on the prize, don't forget, type zipper in the comments. Our little bunny is looking super cute. If I had variegated thread, I would have gone back and I would have done his her little skirt in variegated thread. That would be pretty neat. Step 14 over 19, so we only have five more steps to go. Hey, we have your winner. Winner? Winner, winner? Kristen Munns. Kristen what? Munns. M-U-N-N-S. Kristen Munns. Congratulations. $20 gift card coming your way. Just email us with your email address, and we will send that to you today. All right, our next step is some detail of our... Skirt. Swap this thread out. Now, if you're wondering why I like to pull the thread out from the bottom, it's to keep those fibers from going into your machine when you pull it out this way. A lot of people do that. Uh, I like to cut it here and pull the thread out from the bottom. It'll save you a little bit 
on the servicing. Okay, so we have a pretty satin stitch going around our skirt now. I'm gonna accent that with a purple thread. or embroidery edit what you can do is go into your machine and choose add and go into the letters and that's probably what I might do uh, and you can add anything that you want it to say so if you had uh, a friend or a niece or a granddaughter her name was Ashley you could go in and type Ashley and position it anywhere that you want on the bag and that's fun to add some customization to your Project. Machines are different. I, you know, I don't know all the machines and their capabilities, but if yours does have that, that's a neat feature. And I think that's also on our blog as well. So you can go to our Anita's blog on anitagooddesign.com and it will show you with pictures on how to do that. Alrighty, so we went over. Does anyone have any questions? This is an awesome time. Um, maybe you can see where people's work appears. We have a lot of people who have reported legal sellers um, that they find online explaining that we can report them as well, but certain companies will not remove them. Yes, yes, yes. So back on to the illegal activity that hurts our business. Uh, being on the customer experience team, we do get emails from our fans that share with us some of the sellers that are selling illegally and counterfeit designs and we do research them we have a, uh, our management team researches them they reach out to these platforms some platforms will they'll side with the seller and it, it's very difficult to um, pursue that but we are pursuing that and there's legal stuff all that you know fancy schmancy stuff on the back end uh, but we do appreciate when you do send them to us so we can fight those bad guys and it, it helps our business you know and it, it, it's artwork and it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of resources to do and when there's those people out there that undercut it's just kind of unfortunate but that's a little negative and but send them our way. Customer experience, I need a good design. If you find them, we look into it and do what we can to get rid of those. Um, March 21st, I believe, we are going to get an all-access panel. So oh, yeah. If you are interested in all-access, but you might have more questions, we are doing a all-access live very similar to this without a project, but it's going to be more like a Q&A. And you can ask all the questions. They'll go in depth what the all access is and um, answer any questions that you have. So what all access is, what comes with it, what you get, the pricing, uh, all of that. And if you're interested, if you have questions, that's going to be a really great time for you to go and check that out. So it's March 24th and the time is... 1.30 Eastern Time on our Facebook page. And there's going to be a, a special sale announcement that day. There'll be a sale announcement that day as well, so a little incentive for you to watch. So that's March 24th, and it will go in the ins and the outs and everything about All Access, how wonderful it is, and how you can take advantage of that. All right, so as you can see, we are coming along with our bunny. She is looking just super cute when we're on step 16 over 19. We're working on the bow right now. And then our next step is going to be the details of the ears, the paws, and the nose. So the ears, paws, and nose. So since my bunny is heavily pink, I think I'm going to swap out and do a white. Unless I have, you know what? Here, I'm going to do The white's right here. In no, front I'm going to do this oh. peachy corally color. All right, so we're going to trim. Remember, I like to cut the thread from the top. 
and pull it from the bottom. Do we know who is um, teaching that? Um, I, oh, I, for, I forgot who it was. But we'll have an email that goes out. I can't remember. I don't know. It's not, isn't it you and Melissa? You know, it is me and Melissa. It is you and Melissa. That's why it sounds so familiar. <laughs> um, <laughs> I will be the one that's going over how wonderful All Access is and how you can take advantage of getting it at a discount and the specials. So hopefully you liked the little, uh, the pre, what's the word? Uh, the pre-show, because the big <laughs> show is happening March 24th at 1.30. Okay, so we are getting close to done here. We're doing some accent on our bunny. We're doing the inside of the ears, her little paws, and the cheeks. So get ready with your second piece of large fabric. This is gonna go over the entire project as soon as we're done with the embroidery. Okay, so all of that position. And just a friendly reminder to open that zipper if you haven't done so already. So really, those are the two most important pieces when you're making a zipper bag. Two most important things do not remember, or do not forget, always remember, is to open the zipper and make sure your zipper is right side up when you place it down in the very beginning. And the head of the zipper is outside, and then you move it to the middle when you open it. A lot of discussion about our 75% off Yeah, sale. so with our move to our new building uh, in the next month, we are slowly moving everyone out department by department, uh, we are doing a moving sale. So there are a lot of physical products that are 75% off. We extended that sale uh, and we have so much. So some of the items are sold out at this point, but you can still take advantage of 75% off. And by physical, that means you're getting the actual CD with the designs on it. So the physical CDs are the ones that are 75% off right now. And there's a lot from um, embroidery and there's quilting, mini collections, all the way up to Anita's Express and large releases as well. So that's been a, a big success, helping us move less to carry over. Oh, I didn't even notice. How cute is that? So her little paws, her little hand paws, did bunnies have paws? I'm not sure. Uh, but the little hands are hard. That's adorable. Okay, we're coming along. So here's, I'll show you some of the other designs that are in this collection. Here's a snack bag with some ice cream cones. There are designs for girls and boys. We've got uh, an elephant, like a circus style elephant. Got a puppy dog and the whale that we are originally gonna do before I decided to switch it up for my bunny. Got a little iPod here. I love this dinosaur. Look how cute this dinosaur is. Oh, a hedgehog and an owl. apple and a worm, cheeseburger and a milkshake, cute little unicorn with a rainbow, and this alien. And the last one is a flower and a butterfly. So 15 different designs come in this, this set of snack bags, and they all have a place for the vinyl, and it's all done the same way. So we give you the placement stitch, that shows you where you cut out your fabric, but you don't cut out your stabilizer, and then place your vinyl. So all done the same way. Okay, so here we are at our very final last step. We're gonna make sure the zipper is open to the middle of the bag, and we're gonna place our top fabric. I just have to get this piece 
when I had my tape I used a little bit too close and it it got caught Now all the um, material, your notions list, and the size of material that you need is in your steps, in the tutorial. Um, let's see. I need to step over here for one second. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Miss Lauren has better scissors than mine. Mine are going bad, so she's just gonna cut that fabric out. And let me clean this up. So we have our last piece of fabric. Now this fabric is also gonna go right side down. So the pretty little fabric pattern will go right side down and we'll tack down the whole bag. All right, so let me get, grab that and I'll be right back. Perfect. Okay, we are good. Small little quick intermission. Okay, so this is a great learning uh, tip. When I was really excited and first got started, I did not, I taped my zipper down, but I did not make it even. I got too excited and the zipper just got caught on the fabric with the tack down, which happens and it's okay not a problem just need a seam ripper that's what seam rippers are for they are oopsie oopsie fixers so there we go place it back in here take our fabric right side down over your entire project make sure none of this other fabric flipped over just like that and you're going to stitch over that zipper so again remember you do want to leave a little bit of a seam allowance about a half an inch and we will cut this out after okay perfect you can tape it if you'd like Oh, it's gonna be so cute so right now we are doing our last step which is tacking down the back fabric we'll turn our bag right side out and we are done I hope you all enjoyed watching this got some good tips if you do have any questions after our uh, live you can email into customer experience you also if you have any technical questions Martha is one of my best friends, and she is Extension 4. If you call our, uh, our line, Extension 4, we'll get you to technical support. And Martha is a wonderful uh, guide and help, helping hand for you. Okay. You're getting there. So I don't have a rotary cutter, but that's fine. You can use your scissors. Um, just yeah, I have big scissors here. So you can um, cut from quarter of an inch to a half an inch seam allowance all the way around your back. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And the music is done. Okay, so here we go. Oh, you can't see, but that's okay. We are gonna pop this little bad boy out here. and cut quarter of an inch to a half an inch all the way around the back. I'll show you what that looks like as soon as I cut it. So we do have our handy dandy seam ripper here that we will also use to free the zipper from the stabilizer. So here is our zipper bag. It is not turned right side out yet, but we are going to use our 
on the back you can see that that zipper is covered with the stabilizer and our uh, stabilizer in the vinyl so we're just going to trim that area be very careful just to do a little poke and to just cut the stabilizer and not cut your vinyl so we're just going to cut that and then if you have tear away stabilizer just tear it up oh yeah tear away stabilizer which is what your instructions say to use it will just tear right away but again you can use them interchangeably between um, your no-show mesh and your tear away so I'm just going to cut this excess Kendall, do you remember what month we featured Martha in our All Access? Do you Martha. Martha, if you are watching, and you might be, uh, can you email in to customer experience and see, and let us know when that was? I don't remember. I don't either. I can find out, because people are asking to see her face. So oh, Miss Martha. You can let them know, though, that we do our employee features in our All Access. All the yeah, in our All Access, along with tips and tricks and all the wonderful information there, we do highlight uh, employee spotlights. And um, Martha was one of them. I just can't recall off the top of my head which month that was. But you'll see her and her cute little cat. All right, so I just used the scissors and cut away that stabilizer to free your zipper. And cut away the stabilizer from the vinyl. Now this is why it's very important to open your zipper to the middle so you can pull this fabric right side out. What you also can do, I almost forgot to say too, is trim your corners at a 45 degree angle. And when you turn your bag right side out, this will give you nice, clean, pointy edges all the way around the bag. Okay, just free out this stabilizer. Any last minute questions? Uh, we have a really cute comment. Miss Kathy made 26 of the Tooth Fairy pillows and gave them to the dentist office. Oh, I think she emailed in. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. Okay, so now we just pull. I need to open my zipper a little bit more. And you're going to turn it right side out. It's coming. It's just snagged on the fabric. Okay. And it doesn't help that I uh, went to my local little convenience store and I got these glue on nails and I'm afraid one's gonna pop right off <laughs> and that would not be good for live camera. <laughs> All right, well, let's just try. I'm gonna step to the side, get handy dandy tool to poke out my sides and I'll show you the finished project in just one second. turned it right side out, pop out the corners, get a nice little tool to a pen or something pointy to get in there really to push those corners out. You don't want to push too hard or you'll um, you'll see your your thread there, but this is why it's very important to leave that seam allowance all the way around. Now, I can't wait to share with you my happy, happy little bag. <laughs> so here is our vinyl zipper bag. It's a little blurry, but can you see? Yeah. I can put on the other side. Oh, yeah, maybe we'll take a little picture and you can see it. Here, let's get that little bad boy up. I love this zipper bag. So you can see how fun it is with different fabrics, different colors, and how cute the vinyl looks. 
So when you put your, let's see if I'm gonna put my scissors in there or I can put my, I'll just put a seam ripper and my little scissors. And there you go. How cute is that? Love it. Absolutely adorable. Well, thank you all so much for watching our Wednesday stitch along today with the snack bags. Don't forget if you're interested in purchasing this collection, it's on sale $10 off today until 11.59 Eastern time. And Fancy Feathers, Fancy Flowers is also on sale 50% off today, March 9th until 11.59 Eastern time. We will see you all it's next March time. 10th. It's March 10th. I'm sorry, days are going by so fast. <laughs> March 10th, 11.59 Eastern Time for both of these specials.